Yeah. Can you see this? I sure can't, but I'm coming over. Okay. And also talking about Easter. Now, you know, people love to hide the Easter eggs. And uh, when you hide them, make sure you write yourself a little uh, note where you hit them. It's, it's really funny. Uh, we did that a couple of times, and the children could not find them the next morning. So that is uh, something that you can do. And also, definitely go over to Anna's Linen. It's A-N-N-A-S, Linen. And hit these deals that are going on right now. I cannot stop talking enough about this store. And also, if you're going shopping for clothing for the babies all the way up to us big people, Ross and Dee Dee's are really running some terrific sales on their dresses, the suits for the for the little guys and the big guys. So go on over there. And I know Stater Brothers and Vons are going to start having all of their Easter food coming on sale with the hams and, and all of that. So pop over there and get that done. And also, when you're shopping, like for the Easter baskets and the grass, and the little toys to put into the Easter basket. Instead of going to some of the big name stores and spending a ton of money, go to the 99 cent store or the dollar store. They're really knocking it out this year. Some of them baskets are absolutely incredible. Yes, they have the little tiny plastic and then they have the, the wicker and it just keeps on going on. So pop over there and, and see what you guys can find. And if you just tuned in, you're listening to Let's Go Shopping with Bev right here on KCAA, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. And we are talking about springtime and Easter and all that good things that are going on. And the phone lines are open. If anybody would like to call in, the number is 888-909-1050. Again, that number is 888-909-1050. And so give us a call and let us know what you're doing. And uh, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and start talking about the concert tonight. You want to talk about the concert tonight, Rob? You bet I do. Yeah, it's over there at the Morongo. Is it now? Yeah, and that place is absolutely fabulous over there. Those tickets. I got a stack of them in my hand. I don't know if I'm going to let these go. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. What's today? Oh, today's what's it? Who is it? Billy Erickson and Jerry Boone. Yes. Now, oh, so it's some country time. Yeah, they sound country. Them names now, yeah. don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. Yeah, the, the, that and the picture of the two guys in uh, overalls, uh, cowboy hats, and some acoustics. Yeah, you know who they remind me of? Did you ever watch that show, Hee Yeah, No, actually, I didn't, but I, I uh, my parents did. So okay. All right, now I'm giving away my age. Well, they look like... The I'm two. sorry about that. Yeah. That's okay. I'm not. Don't my worry about it. My parents were very young when they had... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you covered that up real quick. You know I'm good. Um, the two, I cannot remember their names, and they used to do the Battle of the Banjos. Oh, okay. Oh, I know that. The... I should, I should find it. Yeah. yeah. That's what these guys uh, remind me of looking at them. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's a look back to the country greats. Oh, wow. And they're supposed to have uh, somebody doing Patsy Cline. And uh, the guy that always wore the black, Johnny Cash, is is going to be there. Not there personally, but they're going to be imitating him and doing a lot of his songs. And they are supposed... That would be a trick. Yeah, (laughs) that that would be, huh? That would be a neat trick. And they have right now, from what I understand, they have seven people that are going to be doing the different songs and the different music. Wow. From all the the greats from way back when. This is all night long, huh? Yeah. And the doors open up at 9 o'clock. Wow. And they begin at uh, 10.30. And a lot of us from the station here are going to be going over there and a lot of friends. And we're all going to be meeting about 8, 8.15 at the tequila bar. The, Which oh, is right new, next to the new tequila bar, the yeah. brand new one, yeah. and it's pretty cool over there. Yeah, yeah, and we go over there and we get a little something to eat, and you know, a lot of the guys get something to drink, and then we just walk right next door and get our seats, and the music begins. It's a, it sounds like a good relaxing night, especially with country. It's not too, there's no one there, you know, causing a ruckus. You know, yes, that's that's 
I wish I could come. Especially my girlfriend would love this. Country music, she's all she's all about it. She cracks me up. Well, you know what? But if she gets on the train now on uh, Metrolink, yeah. she, she can get down here on I've, time. I've had her do it before. Yeah. You call her up and tell her, come on down. Get on down here. You hear? Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. Yeah, so if anybody loves country and or they just are curious to hear country for the first time, if that's possible, you never know. Yeah. You know, meet us all down at the Morongo tonight and the Red Down here in San Badu, and their ad- I do not have the exact address to these people, but I'll give you the 800 number. It's 888-MORONGO. It's 888-MORONGO, and that is their phone number. And it's the legend and the look back to country. And uh, again, the doors open up at 9 and the band starts at 10.30, and there is dress attire. Now, guys, this means no flip-flops, uh, no cut-off shorts. I know, Rob, you're so upset. You just yeah. want to wear them new flip-flops of, of yours. Of course. Yes. And, you know, look kind of nice. You, you never know who you're going to meet and what have you. Right. And then Steve Morongo from Nightlife Productions, he is going to be with us. We are going to be filming again tonight. Filming. Oh, yes. there we go. Yeah, so we have a whole lot of fun. And one more question. Hey, Rob. Yeah. You like country, right? I, you know, I like um, not all of it, but there are there are some uh, uh, artists that I do like, yes. Now, who do you like? Anybody in particular? You know, I like Trace Atkins. There you go. I like Trace Atkins. He, I like how he's, he's, he stands up for what he believes. As far, and I don't just mean like faith. I just mean mm-hmm. like country music. Because you know, I like that song, the, the song's about me, mm-hmm. and it's a whole song about him sitting on a plane with a guy, and he's like, what do you do? And he says, I'm, I sing country music for a living. And the guy talks about how he can never get into that. And he says, what do you even talk about? Why do you love it? He says, because it's about me. You there know? you and, go. And it's, it, I, I like that. I like his, uh, and I like his really deep voice. Like, he's a man's man, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the one thing about country. It's, uh, it's good old American music. It is. Yeah. And uh, one of my favorite, because I'm not real big in country, country. I like yeah, yeah. some, but I'm not real big. Uh-huh. Uh, the other genres of music is, is jazz and the classics. And, right. And the music from the era from the 60s to the 70s, you know, in that era. That was my era, you yeah, know. Yeah. And so that's what I like. But with country, Patsy Cline, to me, was one of the best female country singers ever. And she, she, that's back, like, country music is, like, bluegrass kind mm-hmm. of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that, yeah, the traditional country. Um, yeah, that stuff's good, too. I mean, for me, it's not really something I taste on, but that's good. That is good music. You can't, you can't argue the classics. No, you can't. And she's can a classic. Uh-huh. I mean, as far as her music and stuff goes. so Yeah, she she was really cool. But that's what's going on tonight, guys. And, you know, give us a call, 888-909-1050. If you want to get into this discussion about country, you know what the phone number is. And, hey, this is this is at Casino Morongo. You can show up early and do some gambling. You yes. Know, go, do, you, do you gamble, Bev? No. No? No. You're smart. See, I, I haven't been there in a while, quite a while, but and, and I was at least, you know, in the very few times in my life that I could say I was smart, I would only go with money that, um, or at least if I go now, I would only go with money that I'm willing to throw away. Nothing that's like, I'm going to go flip my paychecks so that I can pay my yeah, bills and buy something, you know. Right. Right, yeah. And uh, But I have a story about Morongo. Oh, you do have a story. Morongo. I was uh, 18 years old, and... Um, Went with some friends, and for for whatever reason, of the, all the games you could play, we decided to play roulette. And uh, um, there was a man there who was sitting there at the table, and it was one of those computerized roulette. Like now at Morongo, I believe they have roulette, but it's the computer with uh, a, a TV screen kind of a thing, yes. right? Well, then it was a computer thing, but it was a real roulette table, and... It's a, All it was, as far as computer, was the screen where you pick what you want to bet on, and then the machine would turn the table and shoot out the ball, mm-hmm. or whatever the thing's supposed to be called in roulette, I don't know. And uh, the guy across from us kept writing things down and like keeping a, a log of what he was betting on, and he would end up winning. And so 
we start, my friends and I were, you know, we're having a good time and we're joking with him. And uh, I started calling him Mr. Morongo because he would start telling us how to do it, how to beat the game. Uh-huh. And then I swear there were guys in suits with the little earpiece, you know, looking like CIA in yeah. there, <laughs> all the time going over there and whispering in his ear, talking and talking, you know, and, and giving him stuff and walking away the whole time. So I, I just started calling him Mr. Morongo. I swear he is the owner or something, but he he never said it. He just smiled. Uh huh. But I, I we walked in with fifty bucks, came out with eight hundred bucks. There you go. So you know, thank you, Mr. Morongo, if that was you. You, the, know. you know, that's a good story. And me, I would rather be one of the guys in in, in the suit with a little headpiece on, like the yeah. FBI or something. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah. And I, see, and I'm so short too that I could be standing behind somebody. They wouldn't even know I'm there. Oh you know? yeah, you could totally. You got the two. You could be the pit boss. Yeah, you could be the boss. Right there, yeah. <laughs> that, that would be funny. Well, the last one time about betting, oh, God, this was a thousand years ago. And uh, I went down to Reno. Oh. And uh, some of us went down there. We had a good time, and we went to one of the casinos down there. And what they did is at the bar, they had the whole back wall was all windows. Uh-huh. So you could look out and you could see the lake and everything else. It was absolutely beautiful. Wow. So, yeah, I said, what the hell? I'm sitting here having my coffee and, and we're all yakking. So I put a dollar in one of the machines mm-hmm. and it went ding a ling a ling ling You know, that, that poker thing? Oh, right, wow. Right? The, uh, and so I went, this was nice. Well, like you said, once in a lifetime, never again. I ended up... Uh, putting in 10 bucks and I walked out with 400 bucks and wow. I'm going okay that's it I'm done. Where I, where's the shopping yeah, I'm going yeah. shopping of course you yeah <laughs> you're definitely going to go shopping yeah yeah so it was really nice but uh, to get back to the Morongo one of the things that I love about it is it's always clean it's always yeah. a fun place to be there is no hassle no fights no nothing down there I mean it's it's just a really comfortable happy place to be yeah and like I was mentioning there a couple of weeks ago, they have one gorgeous spa. Oh, really? Oh, it's fabulous. You ought to take your Talk girlfriend about down. relaxing, yeah. 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 And uh, the robes that you can use, and then they sell the robes if you want to, and they do the hair and the whole thing. And so you could spend the day at the spa, get done with that, go outside to the swimming pool, mm-hmm. and you could do some swimming and stuff. And, you know, go back to your room and get all dressed up, go into the casino, have a lovely dinner, do some gambling, and see some shows. And then right down the road from them is they have that big outlet shopping mall. Yeah. yeah you know, so... He, and, and yeah, you're right, because that's, I mean, we're right here in the Inland Empire. Who needs to go all the way to Vegas? Because truth be told, when you go to, unless you're 21, when you go to Vegas, you've got one, maybe two casinos that, or, or shows that you go to. Mm-hmm. And Morongo is right here, you know, on your way out, you know, towards Palm Springs. And you can do, like you said, you can do everything that you want to do on a vacation in one spot, and you don't have to travel that far. That's it. And it, that's yeah. the point that I like. And then if you're going to spend the night, all you need is, you know, one little carry, uh, carry bag, you know, night bag. And like that, you pour at the car, and you're done. Yeah. You know, that's, to me, I hate packing and unpacking and in and out, and, and, you know, no, yeah, no that's, yeah. that's crazy. And uh, we go down to Vegas every once in a great, great while. Mm-hmm. But like you said, once you're there, you've seen it, you're done. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And it gets so blooming hot down there in the summertime. Oh, yeah. I mean, it gets hot here, too, but... Not like not that. Not like that, no, no. No, you can put an egg on the sidewalk and, and cook it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we're not bagging Vegas now. Don't get me wrong. No, they no, have no, some no. good stuff. Oh, yeah. But yeah. like you were saying, Rob, we have all of this good stuff right here in our own backyard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, let, let's enjoy it. Yeah, it's right there up the 10 East. I mean, what's that? It's like a half hour drive from here. We can clear traffic. Yes. You know, and, and that's awesome. That's yeah, cool. And the good part about it is between us and Palm Springs. Yeah. You know, and, and if you go down to the to the casino there, to the Mongo, spend some time instead of coming back to this neck, the words, you know, just take a left and go right down to Palm Springs. Yeah. And you can spend a couple of days down there. You can do all the shopping, all the good eating. They have shows down there. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do have a casino down 